this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review Military Wives, which will be available on digital and demand May 22nd, 2020, courtesy of Bleecker Street. Uh, the film premiered at the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival. It's the fifth feature directed by uh, the UK's Peter Cataneo, who of course is still probably best known for his 1997 debut, The Full Monty. Uh, Military Wives kind of plays like the gender inverse of Full Monty, uh, as it deals with a group of, as the title suggests, uh, military wives and the somewhat sort of based on a true story of the first uh, military wives choir uh, that was put together and apparently now there are 75 of them uh, in the UK. Uh, so Kristen Scott Thomas and Sharon Horgan are the stars as a uh, uh, Kate and Lisa, type A, type B personalities that kind of have to wrangle all these women and uh, are invited to an event before they're perhaps ready to perform and have to scramble to uh, put together a performance. Uh, there's a nice, some nice soundtrack selections including um, some nice uh, choral performances of Only You by the Flying Pickets, uh, Cindy Lauper. Uh, eventually they uh, try to do something a lot more personal by weaving together a tapestry of phrases that each of the women have received in letters from their husbands, uh, which also causes some in-house dramatics that are easily resolved. Everything's very predictable. Uh, it, it's more of uh, this homosocial bonding that Cataneo seems to uh, prize the most. I'd say this is his most vibrant film since Full Monty, because he's directed a couple since then, the last being The Rocker, starring uh, Ray Wilson. Uh, Scott Thomas and Horgan, who, Horgan is usually somebody that we see in a lot of comedic roles. Uh, in the U.S., she's probably best known as a supporting character in Game Night, that film with Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. Uh, here, she I'd say she really gets to shine as the more well-rounded character. Uh, and if you like Kristen Scott Thomas, it's of course worth watching for her. Uh, overall, I would give the film three out of five stars uh, for at least being likable. Thanks. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.